Hello, everyone. In this live stream, I will make a hide and seek game. So, and also you can follow me, follow my tutorial. We can make together. I will just wait for a few minutes and I will start to make. Also, before starting make, let's uh, quickly check the game. I already made also I I just shared the tutorial on my channel and I got too many questions like uh, some of you guys says uh, I got problem game loops uh, loops problem like game uh, when you finish the game not loops again just stops and some of guys says even can't play and I just want to make a tutorial for this so I hope you will uh, you will have fun All right, so I will start to make, and if someone joins, just ask me if I need anything about coding. All right, so I will just make a new map. Let's say base plate. All right, looks great, and I just make the map looks better. All right, first and first, we should have a map, I think. So for map, I don't want to make the live stream longer, so we can find a good map on toolbox. Let's say Roblox map. Yeah, I already searched for it. There's too much of maps we can use on this game. Let's check one. I made this on my other tutorial, old tutorial. So let's check the second map. And also we should find a good map for hide and seek. This map is good, but Actually, I'm not for hide and seek. This looks a roleplay game map, but actually, really good map. All right, so I will remove for now. Let's just search for hide and seek map. Maybe we can find a good one. Okay, let's say this one. All right, let me check. Mm. Okay, nice, but not good for hide and seek. Mini land downtown. Let's check this one. All right, looks interesting and good. Well, everything is small. Okay. Okay, this map looks interesting. Let's see inside. All right. Um, uh, this is interesting map.
let me just open the beta features to make my scrolling or moving slowly uh, just to restart the game and let's just save here let's say hide and seek game tutorial Right, so let's just continue with my old map and I don't want to make it too much long so let's just say yeah not on my models here Roblox map let's just use this one no problem we can change map we don't need it now so first I will delete all spawn locations on map because we will add our custom so let's just search for spawn location and delete first and others just delete it and let's add our spawn location for example let's say good place for starting the game and think about let's say good place let me check if it's there inside okay outside is better okay no problem let's just leave here so after this let's just close this one uh, before starting script we should change some settings go game and settings here you go to security and enable studio access to API services this is for local storage and delete this one all right so what else so now go to service script service and open a script but just first change uh, player player speed like for example in the game let's say game dot players player added and say connect function player player yes and enter so say player character added connected to function character I guess I just add two here. Let's just delete one. Okay. And with access to character dot humanoid. Character dot humanoid. Dot walk speed. let's say 35 and I guess I did something wrong here but I can't see what is the problem because okay let's just run the game let's see how it's look and let's move yeah it works okay okay so just fast okay so now this is done and next Let's make a leader stats. Yeah, this one important. And close server script. So now 
open server storage folder and name it player underscore data and also open another folder say leader stats leader stats yeah and inside player data we should have boolean value yes bool value and change the value name to is seeker this is will add for example if seeker like if the player is seeker make it true let me show you on properties look here is is seeker by default false because game will select the seeker by default it is not seeker it's hider but later game will select the player if it's seeker will change to true but we will do it in code not here so in leader stats let's say uh, int value we will add to both value for for example let me check here and say points and add new int value the other one is wins how many times the player wins okay okay this is done and let's call on script to display on the game so first let's make a function where player is loaded okay so a uh, local function let me delete this space it's too much okay and say player added and call player enter here and say for index comma instance in pairs and say player data Their data is this one we will call on top player data let me just add one and say get children okay let's just first add a player data to get more data when we code so say local player data and just make this capture will be better equal to server script i mean sorry server storage also we should call on local server storage equal to storage equal to game get service and here say uh I just deleted it okay server storage and here say server storage now say wait for child the child is player data okay so now let me just fix this before continue i will just reload my app because when i type just getting this i don't know how to remove it so let's just remove i will reload my roblox studio ok 
Okay, my games and how does in game tutorial. All right, now I think fixed, yes. And here we should say, get children. Yeah, get children. Player added, actually, this is wrong, player data. Player, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Here it should be player data. Okay, player data, get children. And say do local clone instance equal to instance clone this one not capital I should be small like this. Now, lastly, we should say cloned instance dot parent equal to player. All right, now it should work, but we should also call our function when just player added. So let me just get here players. Layers is should be also called on local on top. Say layers equal to game get service players. And here say players just add this and player added connect and call your function which is player added. Cool. So now let's uh, run the game. And we should see leader stats if we don't do anything wrong. Yeah, we see it. Cool. All right. So leader stats, it's just added. Nice. So now close your tab. Now let's add uh, some GY on our screen. For example, let's add a text here, it says loading, if game not starts or returning any error. So open your started GUI. Let me just click here and say screen GUI and change this to main, main like this. And Let's add a uh, text. So first let's background transparency one to hard background. And also let's change the text label to status. Okay. And let me check my code to explain better and scroll down change the position or before position make scale text on scroll down you should see this yes and change your text color to white will be better and also we can change the font let me check yeah this one looks great Okay, so change position. Go top and go to position and say zero dot one hundred thirty-eight and I'm gonna change the ninety to zero twenty-two. And what do I do here wrong? Yeah, we should add a zero here. I forgot to add there. 
of it. And you can just make center. Okay, never mind. I'm not that much good on GUI. <laughs> okay, so add a script, actually local script. And let me check inside code. So let's say local status equal to workspace. And say wait for child. Yeah. And say status, which is we will add now. Let's add on workspace. And here, let's say uh will be int value no uh will be string value sorry string value and change to status the file name okay and here say script dot parent dot text equal to status value okay this status value will come from our code to update the status value to new value for example you are the seeker or the the who is the seeker and we will display the his name the player name okay so now say status dot changed connect and open a function say script dot parent dot text equal to status value cool so um okay let me check what we need also Sure. So now let's, for example, uh, make starts a game. Okay. When the game starts, should update this text and all the stuff. So let's get started. So let's say local function set up game and say status value. Status value. Let's also import status. Let's say local um, status equal to game dot workspace workspace wait for, wait for child and say status cool and now say status dot value equal to null when the game is start and um okay let's say for i equal to v i mean of uh a comma v and in payers players get get players and do load character B load character. After this, we will clean table player and game players. Uh, game players actually. Let me. Uh, 
will be a, a array game players so just copy this name and say local game players equal to uh, player list okay like this all right so now let's continue here under for loop open another for loop again and say for i player in uh how to do this yeah pair player and let me players again players not player get players and here say do so if player find first child is seeker make value value with the capital equal equal to true then then make layer equal to find first child is seeker value false equal to false All right. And also, let's make loop game to after games finished. Like, uh, what should game do again? So let's call the functions. Repeat one second. Game loop. Wait for one second, and say status that value. So say not enough players players equal so here we will uh we will tell the game how much player we need so go top and make a variable again let's make under of status like this and say local players underscore needed underscore to um to underscore start and make it for example two for now and maybe if your game grow up you can make it five or ten okay so uh here let's call our variable and say dot dot player needed to start and again dot dot space players players needed so this will display not enough players two players needed okay so and until this is will repeat this message until when until we will say player numbers more than player needed or equal if it's true or more so for doing this say players 
dot num players bigger or equal to players needed to start. This will repeat uh, till this will be works. So now uh, we got an error. Let me check this. What is that? Okay, we can run add equal here. Okay. Now, now let's call our function. Say game loop. So let's run. Let's check uh, text. Yeah, it's just update. It says not enough players. Two players needed. Cool. So and what about if we run with two player? Let me say here team test or no not team test here make two players and click on start will make local two players. Okay, just me let me just move this top to display both. If this is server. Okay, so now I have two players. Actually, it's not update because I guess we didn't make if it's more clear the text let me check my code again yeah actually i guess we should clear status value after if it's more than two players so let's just close that orders other players and just fix that we close orders okay so now uh let's just update text if it's more than two players so say if players yeah if players um non players again if it's bigger or equal to players needed to start <coughs> then and say for let me just say for i equal to so now uh it's if it's more than two players so we will display a second countdown like say 10 seconds after 10 seconds game will start so for this also let's make a local function and uh Let's say intermission time. Let me check uh, quickly what we need. Intermission time, yes. So uh, go to up, say intermission time underscore time actually equal to let's say 10 seconds for now. Later we will make more. So uh let's actually move these to under game players will be better. Okay. And copy the name, go to your code and say intermission time comma zero comma one sorry uh minus one two and wait for one second. And like this will repeat every one second, like 10, 9, se 8, 7, like this. Count down every one second. So uh, status, that's why we say 0, minus 1. Every one second, minus 1 the countdown. So say status that value equal to game will be or game starting in 
equal, I mean space, dot dot, I, again dot dot, space seconds. Okay, so now I guess we can test the seconds. And let's run again with the two players. All right, it's counting. So five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, after one, we should write code to start the game again. Okay, looks great. So let's close this again. Oh. All right, so uh, we are doing great now. So under for loop, let's say local. So now uh, we will select a user randomly, make a seeker, okay? And say local random player index equal to math dot random uh, one. And players that get players, okay. Uh, let me check what is a problem. Yeah, not that actually. Get players will be select one of person, one of player on player list. So now let's make a variable called seeker. And after this, clear game players table game players table so um, let's update player is seeker selected player actually uh, value is seeker we made it here to true okay so say for i player in Payers, players, sorry, players should be capital, okay. Uh, get players, get players, and say do enter if i equal equal random player index then then let's update it so say player find first child is seeker value because if you remember on player added uh we give all player these informations um in player data in uh, where we did this let me check yeah here on player added Okay, is seeker value value equal to true? Make it true. And and make player make seeker player. Okay, so this will make selected by randomly player a seeker. Great. And what about else? If it's not like will list the players, other players, and the game find seeker, but what about the hiders? Else, make it uh, how to this player find first child again is seeker, make value, make them value 
equal to false and write table insert game players player all right so now what we should do here okay so now we have seeker and orders so in the game if you watched my other tutorial after you should know after selected seeker will display for seeker you are the seeker text on the his screen and for hiders uh will display seeker us username says for example xyz is the seeker okay so let's add a text for displaying this so here we should add new text let me check what we will add correctly Okay, actually, first, uh, we should add, let me check, server replicated storage here. Let's add a remote event. And the first one is, so, seeker text. Okay. And, We will add a secret text on main. Let's add a text. And here, let's say secret text. And add a script, local script inside this. So here first, say local player equal to game dot players local player and say local replicated storage equal to game <coughs> get service uh, replicated storage replicated storage Okay, so replicated storage, remotes, remotes. Uh, I think I do something wrong here. Let me check. Get service replicated storage, replicated storage, remotes, remotes. Okay. So show seeker text. Why I don't see, um, okay, maybe I'm wrong. So let's say on client event equal to connect function, say seeker, we will get seeker username. So say if player, if player equal, equal to seeker, then say, Script that parent. Script that parent. Let me zoom in. Uh, dot text equal to. You are the seeker. You are the seeker. Let's check if current player is seeker. Will display you are the seeker. And else, if it's other players, not seeker, so let's say else. So, right, script that parent, parent text equal to seeker dot name, name like this, equal equal or dot dot 
space is the seeker will display for example xyz is the seeker to other players so now uh, uh let me also let's make this invisible but before this let's just locate it correctly like make a center and let's just make a background transparency scroll down and text scaled and also change color let's find our font actually i used that but not like it too much so let's continue with this also I will do this also, this one, no, sorry, this one, yes. So now let's make this invisible. No, uh, visible, false, okay. Because till user will select, we don't need to show the text. So make it here after you find the text and updated value so now we can make visible true we can show the text so wait for 1.5 seconds and again hide it so and we can add some animation also say for i equal to 1 comma 20 to script dot parent dot text transparency text transparency plus equal zero dot zero five and copy this and paste it again and change text transparency to text stroke transparency so just add here text stroke transparency this one Okay, just delete here. Okay, cool. So after this animation, make script dot parent visible equal to false, and make script dot parent text transparency equal to zero. This is for looping. And uh, also copy this, paste the text stroke transparency. I guess we don't hear, so let's go to script again. So now what we should do uh, under for loop, let me just quickly check. Okay. So after this happened, seeker find and value updated to true. Let's just fire replicated storage to show the text. We just made it here, seeker text. So go to up and make a new variable local replicated replicated storage equal to game get service replicated storage okay so go down and what was we doing here yeah say replicated storage okay and let me check remotes remotes show seeker text it should be exact text as here on your replicated storage so the best way to guarantee just do copy paste and say fire all clients seeker good and so now i guess we can test with two player to display all these 
on our game. So let's go to text and run with two players. Okay, so countdown and let me move all the play also. So let's see who is bill seeker. Okay, it's not continue. Let me check my codes. It's open server. What is the error here? Okay, it says server script index nil with value what is that let me check first is seeker player find first child is seeker value false mm, okay why is this is wrong index nil with value why is doing this layer find first child is seeker value false Why this happened, do not understand. Okay, I guess, uh, yeah, we have, okay, we should call our setup game under replicated storage. I guess this is the problem, so I hope so. Let me just add it here, set up game because we didn't set up the game to well here we change the value of uh is seeker i guess this is the problem so i hope so let me also also let me check here if players non players then also game loop like this Okay, I hope it will work, but first let's just delete this or just add it and uh, I will close other players again and I will run it again. Okay, run.
Okay, so let me. Okay, I hope it will work. Hmm. Same error. Okay, let me just give this code to ChatGPT. Maybe I just missed something. Can't find that. So let's go to Google. Sometimes ChatGPT for these things really helpful. Because maybe you just miss some thing things on your code. Okay, just maybe a dot or comma or space. I don't know. And you can see it, but ChatGPT will find for you. So let's just say error and code. Paste your code, I think will. Okay, it says your error message. Okay, nil value, key value, so if it's that is nil. In your case, that it is defined as. Says make sure that exists an object name status when you're in in workspace. So let me check it. We already have status. Yeah. Really status. Why it says status? So. Did I give him wrong error? Let me check it again. Hey, someone on my live says Team Roblox. Hi. Hi, my friend. Let me just answer also. Welcome to my live stream. Finally, someone joined. Oh, it says, how is the game going? Okay, uh, it's good. It's, uh, it's like we have a uh, error, but it's been 10 minutes, I guess. I can't find the problem. So, yeah, I get an error. It says, attempt to index nil with value. Let me just debug here and let's just make starter player one to 
not place with two player. Oh, okay, just close this here. This is a hide and seek game. Let's just get back here so it's played. Right, let me show debug I mean terminal. Right, so uh, step over. Found the player next one. Okay, selected seeker. Okay, we got an error. It says find player find first child is seeker value true. So I guess we didn't add uh set up the game we didn't add value of a seeker to our players i just i don't know how many i don't know many about scripting for me it's already oh okay friend uh take your time i just also in the end of this tutorial i will share these scripts and you can make your game if you want and uh, you can ask me if you just can't uh, add your codes on my discord or anywhere you want so now what is the problem i can't find Okay, I guess, let me stop my project. After player added, should call game log. Yeah, I guess this, this is a problem. Sounds good, I'm going to sleep, good luck with your game. Thanks so much. Uh, have a nice, good night. Thank you. Okay, so step over, step over. Again, we have an error. Goodbye, friend. Thank you. Alright guys, so I guess this live stream will be long and I can't find this problem. So uh, I will make part 2 of this game on live stream. So I hope it will be good for you. And uh, on part 2 we will continue and I will try to fix the error. Thanks for watching.